what is going on you guys and welcome back to the channel now in this video we're not going to be doing any investigation instead we're going to be taking a look at my new ghost gear bag that i got from ghost stop friends over there sent me a nice cool looking pack and we're going to take a look at it and we're going to discuss it so a big shout out to you ghost stop for hooking me up with this and they are the sponsor of today's video so let's go ahead and get right into it all right you guys so whether or not you just need a new bag or some cool gear or whether you're a paranormal investigator and you need a nice pack to hold all your equipment safe and sound and you don't have to worry about it getting destroyed I think this might be the bag for you so I'm gonna run down a few specs of this thing it, this is a really cool bag right here now first things first um, before we get into all the features of it they do send this little waterproof little thing that you can put over it helps to keep it water resistance or anything so this does come with the bag looking at the front right here you're gonna have this strap right here that can hold your tripod you're gonna have a nice heavy sturdy handle right here another little loop back here in the back um, down here at the bottom the velcro patch this is pretty cool tucked away there's another little pouch right there that you can hide stuff in or put whatever you want maybe some batteries spare batteries or something and you're just gonna tuck it up under there like so or you know what this could be used for this is probably for the feet of your tripod I didn't even think of that this is probably for the feet of your tripod so nice little pouch for that or you could put something spare in there and just tuck it in there you got an extra little pocket right here on the bottom all right we're gonna move to the outside so you're gonna have these little cool little things that I, that you can clip stuff to your little zippers you're gonna have a water bottle pouch right there I'm going to have another water bottle pouch on this side. Draw strings. More adjustable straps up here on the sides. That goes for both sides. So now we're going to um, open this up. Now this right here, you're going to have an extra loop right here for your tripod holder. You could actually untie this and put it up here if you need it up a little higher. So we're going to go ahead and open up this first pouch. We're going to take a look inside here now as you guys are going to see all right i'm going to have to take you guys off the tripod to show you this all right so as you look down into this first pouch it's going to be a very deep pocket goes all the way down you're going to have spots right here for your pins another separate little pouch right here and i got a screwdriver there that goes to some of my equipment when i'm changing batteries and it's also going to have these little multi multi little slots right there nice liner I love the liner on it so it's your going to be your pretty standard pocket it's a really nice deep pocket so that covers the front of it let's go ahead and look at the back side all right so before I forget I'm just trying to make sure I cover everything you guys right here on the side if you can see it right there there's going to be a little spot for your headphones or any type of um, devices you could put a charging port in here or anything and run your wires right through this little hole it's gonna run right here to this back side um, I was actually able to use this bag in the last episode of Skinwalker part 2 and I gotta say man my expectations of this bag was just through the roof I was not expecting this bag to be this good see you guys before I got this bag I was pretty much taking my equipment out you know and taking it over there to the cemetery just because I was scared that it was going to damage the equipment and stuff because some of this equipment is fairly expensive you know so I don't have to worry about that with this bag at all it's well protected and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that but first let's get into this the straps are really nice and padded super comfortable um, you're going to have your chest clip right there you're going to have a couple little D clamps that you can hook anything to a couple more little straps up here that you can maybe hook a flashlight to or something 
Down here at the bottom, you're also going to have a waist strap. Look at that, with two pouches. Now, these two pouches can come off if you want them to. Um, but they're just your standard little pockets. I keep my cat balls in here. And this one. I think you guys remember this one from the last episode. Aztec Death Whistle. So, cool little pouches. Really deep. They can carry pretty much... A good amount of stuff if you want to flashlights or whatever so going to the back side now this this is the good part right here you guys this is a nice hard shell right here and you're gonna unzip it and right here you're gonna have a little netting pouch which I keep all my chargers and wires and stuff Nice little slide through pouch that's going to be right there on the inside. I got extra camera batteries right there. And then right here, you have your little strap. You're going to take your strap off. And this right here is an extra little pouch. Now this is really cool. Unzip this and you're going to have like this padded inside. Now in here I just keep my dowels and rods and my SB7 and extra batteries and stuff like that so you're gonna have an extra little pouch in here but wait there's more so right up here you're gonna have a nice little deep pocket and this is where I keep my K2 meters my um, laser stand and stuff my laser grid and this is a really deep pocket as you can see I can fit my whole hand in here so that's up there at the top and then you're going to have this little screen pouch you're going to unzip that and boom look at that you have individual slots right there where you can keep all your equipment you can adjust these however you want to and yeah it's just a really nice feature i really love this it's nice and padded super soft cushion so you don't have to worry about any of your equipment getting damaged or anything on investigations. And that's pretty much it, you guys. I mean, there's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 different slots in here. And you can adjust them however you want to your standards. Me, personally, I didn't really adjust anything. It came pretty standard for me. So everything that I have and what I carry fits in there perfectly and everything is good to go. Alright, so one more thing I want to do for you guys. I want to put this bag on and show you what it looks like while it's on me. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, there you have it guys. Got my two pouches up here. Like I said, you can take these off if you want to. Chest strap secure. Nice and comfortable. Very durable. Straps are fully adjustable. Check it out. Now you know, you guys know that a lot of the equipment that I use is from GoStop, highly reliable. Um, I have been affiliated by them for a while now. Um, this bag is awesome and I'm telling you guys what right now, if you're looking for a good gear bag, if you're a paranormal investigator, this is the bag for you. Give it a shot. You can shop through my link down in the description at GoStop. Pick you up one of these bags. I think they run roughly about $90. They're on sale right now for about $90. They normally go for about $100. But um, yeah, pick you up this bag, man. It's awesome. You're going to love it. Really going to enjoy it. All right, you guys, so there's a look at the Ghost Stop bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the new bag. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Guys, we've been growing like crazy here lately, and I could not be more grateful for each and every single one of you. The next video that you're going to see is really going to be awesome. Guys, we're going to be turning shit up a notch. We got some new equipment that we're going to be testing out in the cemetery. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, guys. Remember to keep it spooky, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.